Friday, DJ Friday, Gucci and Guts. All right, so we are bu- 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 Buck. It's the world's most smoked out podcast. We love hip hop. I'm your host with the most toast, Friday Ricky Tread, aka Media Rick, aka Mr. More Fire. Um, PK Herc is not here with us today. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Um, no worry. He's, he, 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 he's still alive. Yeah, he could. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's, he's just dealing with some some medical issues and different things like that. <laughs> Nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? But he'll he'll come back and tell the tale once he once he returns. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. Shout out to Ben. But uh, across the table for me. Hey, it's your boy Gutsy Guts. No drip. I was going to say something foul, but I might have got us not monetized. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, you already know, man. Uh, shout out the team like usual. Gucci gang in the building. Shout gang. out Empress. Uh, shout out Raheel. And, you know, check out Six Views Uncut. uncut, uncut Episode uncut. 28. I brought through Debbie gang <laughs> really really good Damn. interview also the whole team actually was there uh shout out pk mm. shout out gucci coming through getting his co-hosting on <laughs> you know what i'm saying it was a, it was a good weekend good vibes yeah man debbie debbie was definitely definitely entertaining and chill chill hey. that's that's the biggest thing that she was mad chill like i didn't expect her i thought she was gonna be turned up when she came here mm-hmm. chill had great conversations yeah. give us good insight on why she is the way she is so I make see, sure i seen somebody in the comments said you need to d- bring debbie back as a as a as a recurring, recurring. Host. <laughs> yo debs you already know it's gang <laughs> it's all gang. day it's yeah. gang um really quick mm. i want to shout out everybody that's going through something right now i know obviously 2020 has been crazy but like medical wise you know what i'm saying like Facts. black people in general black women go get checked up fam like once you reach a certain just in general you should go get checked up but once you reach a certain age you definitely want to go to the doctor make sure all your organs and everything is working down there so you know shout out to anybody that's going through a hard time right now because of covid it's hard to get to the doctors and all that facts facts men get your prostate checked straight real <laughs> shit all right real shit though yeah man gucci gucci talk to the people gang shout out to the team man shout out to the supporters you already know Yo, shout out to Guts for having me on Six Views. You already know. Hey. Shout out to Debbie for coming huh. through and making it a fire interview. Yo, you guys make sure you guys go check that out, B. Yeah, run up check the views. Check that out because that is fire. You see Gucci, that you, know I mean? <laughs> you see me. You see me. You don't really see me. I'm behind the camera. You got to see me because my family put me on the spot. So, you know, big up Friday, PK, Guts. Empress, right here, the whole squad, the whole team, the whole gang. You know, we big up everybody across the world. You listen to us right now and watching the video. Yo, shout you guys out. Gucci, gang, gang. (laughs) Yo, quick, sorry. Was that your first interview? Like you interviewing somebody? Oh, yeah, that was my first actual probably interview <laughs> yo Proper. one thing i want to say about gucci he has multiple um bubble bubble goose drips a lie <laughs> yeah <laughs> came with the blue <laughs> yeah. see yo. he's got the black one today for the people who can't see him <laughs> yo fam i'm editing and i'm like yo this jacket is fire so booze you're just yo. saying that because nope. you're bro bro you guys are just big and yo nah. i'm thinking from the audience I nigga, can't. I don't got no drip, so regardless, <laughs> I'm gonna make it fire. But yeah, that shit was fire though. But yeah, big up Gucci, big up the team. Yeah, man, big up, big up the whole fucking team. Um, also, I want to give a quick shed, a set of shout outs to the people who are in the offices right now. Cubicle gang doing a damn thing. Um, shout out to all the people who are listening on all the listening platforms, whether it's Spotify, Geo Seven, um, iTunes, SoundCloud. SoundCloud, all of the listening platforms, and the people who are watching on YouTube membership gang we see you members. you know what i'm saying shout out to the comment gang as well we see you we appreciate y'all <laughs> comment gang is rude <laughs> comment gang's been yo, honest this week honestly i seen a comment <laughs> and said yo talk to me it said yo i swear someone said yo i'm an indian kid <laughs> Like, so somehow, <laughs> Debbie, this white girl, and this Indian kid. This, I'm like, Yo, you guys are hard. Yo, shout out to the comment gang. And yeah, make sure to subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to run a quick ad here before we get into the Wagwans or the Wagwans here. 
Got to pay some bills. You know what I mean? Um, big up to Sovereign. They got us. They got me on some drip today too. You know. What Jeez, saying? what's the Sovereign drip? Jeez. Hey, watch my Gucci, my Gucci print Sovereign shirt. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, clean. You know what I mean? But big up to Sovereign. They, they provide us. They also make um fight gear. You know what I mean? So shout out to USG Super as well. Awesome. You know what I'm saying? So um, they got a thing going on right now. They actually have a contest or a free giveaway. Let's call it. Okay. All right. So as a gift from Sovereign um, and USG and Mr. Green. OK, so also hit up their website if you want to get any of their products. OK, quick, fast. The Mr. Green CA. We're giving a um, discount right now with the code. We love hip hop. So hit up the Mr. Green CA. Use the code. We love hip hop. You'll be able to get a 10 percent discount on any type of THC CBD products. You know what I mean? As well as their fight gear and stuff like that. But they're doing a giveaway. Um, so. The first three people to go to themrgreen.ca and use the coupon code Merry Christmas, okay? Mm. Not Xmas, C-H-R-I-S-T-M-A-S. Not the hood way. Yeah, so Merry Christmas, and you'll get a free tip, okay? So you'll get a free tip on the top of one of these here, okay? That's worth $50. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? All you have to do is pay for the shipping. That's all you got to do. Jeez. All right, so whatever flavor you want, Okay, enter it in the cart and when you're on the on the website, on the shopping on the in the shopping cart part, and then put the code Merry Christmas and you'll get one for free. You just have to be one of the first three people to order and you'll get a free one. ASAP. Okay. All right. So shout out to Sovereign and make sure to follow them on Instagram at Sovereign Extracts. Same. Uh, Yo, what'd you do this week, my G? Oh, what I do this week. Oh, you got a little video that dropped again, mm. eh? Are we going to get into that later? We can pull it up now. I don't care. Mm. I don't care. <laughs> it's of the Jane and Finch area of Toronto. Now, for those unfamiliar, well, let's just say it's a neighborhood notorious for its... We'll pull it up right now on the big screen. But you know, your boys are trying to be busy for 2021. Who's that? We love your pop alumni right there. Let me pull it up in the beginning here with some volume on it. I'm glad Gucci got headphones. But what people go through and stuff in my neighborhood and... Before Preston will blow up out of the Toronto rap scene. Who's that? Hold on, pause, 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 well, other than Presser, you got the first words. Okay. Sorry. Boom! Preston was born Quentin Armani Gard. The young kids just... I have to be. It looks, but just the way everything's encased and it's in one yeah. community, it, you know, it's Watch very similar. Drip. I'm just speaking of what I heard. Let's just pause it right there. Shout out pretty much blended. I see you got the track pants on there, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Cool, no? <laughs> pretty. We'll just leave the big screen up there just for the people there. Jeez. Hey. Jeez. Little Samsung. Little Yo, Samsung. that's big still. So how was it? Sec um, well, I was going to say episode two, but your second time over there. It was dope, man. It was dope. It was dope. It got to... Um, you know, do another thing with McCrudden, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. The studio, dope studio, you know what I'm saying? That teleprompter, bro. Holy. Said you. We got, I was thinking we might need to get some cue cards. Maybe the <laughs> cue cards will be, you know, you see, you start from the cue cards, <laughs> then you go to the teleprompter. No, no, no. I'm going to keep on working at it. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admit, it's not easy to do this shit. Okay, the way that he makes it look for the people who who watch um, before they're famous, and if yeah. you've never seen an episode of Before They're Famous, like you haven't been on YouTube. Facts. You know what I'm saying, but like he makes it look easy. Yeah. But reading off of a teleprompter and like you see those people on the news and all them too. Yeah. They all do. Yo, that's a hard job, fam. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Big up Brandon. <laughs> Brandon Gomez. He, yo, Alumni. They're, they're reading it in real time. We're pre-recording this shit, mm. so we could fuck up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying and oh, be like okay, okay. oh let's do it again let's do it again but imagine you're doing a live fucking broadcast on the news oh, and oh you're yeah you're talking about them shit. yeah 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 you know what I'm saying you fuck up the sentence you can't be like oh yo bring that back let me yeah, do yeah, that yeah. again <laughs> well they have well, they don't bring it back but they try and like just, fix up what they say or they just move on just kind move of thing on. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean they might come back if they fuck up something real bad like mm. if they fuck up a word that they're not supposed to mm -hmm. mm. yo sidetrack no sidetrack did y'all see the news conference Dr. Mahaffey, something Mahaffey, I forgot her name, some old. I, I know exactly the one where Karen. She, she was like, I just read off whatever that's here. Whatever they write down for me. <laughs> I don't know why I bring all these papers. I never look at them. 
<laughs> I don't even read I, off I, the I, shit. I don't even read like what the hell. No, no, I just read what I they just tell read me. What they, they tell me. Yeah, and the thing. What did she say about her papers? It ain't even nothing. It's too much papers paper. or some shit. Some Ron Burgundy shit, fam. They just get in there. What do you want me to say, bro? What do I gotta say today? Yo, fam. I was like, yo, nobody knows that the microphone's on. <laughs> And they're just going on and on and on without like realizing like, yo, fam, this is being recorded. Fam, you really got to watch the people on your team because somebody had to let that out. Yeah. yeah. So like, yo, people be let leaking shit, bro. You guys are evil fuckery, B. Like, inside come on, B. Yeah, fam, <laughs> that had to be inside us. Mm, yeah, that's so some hate and shit. Yeah, that's some hate and that shit. But yeah, that was fuck because that was about COVID too, no? Mm. So she don't even know what I want. Mm. He said, what do you guys want to tell me about COVID this today? All right, I'm going to go say it today. Yeah, that's crazy. Why? Yeah. Like, <laughs> but she did clear it up a little bit though. She was like, "Yo, that's just usually, you know, I always I don't read off the notes to answer the the, the news reporters' questions and shit like that." Obviously, sure. I was like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, nice. Right. But yeah, that was my little sidetrack. No sidetrack. <laughs> um, I want to give also a quick set of shout outs also to some of these food drives before mm. um we get to Christmas because next week is Christmas still, you know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying like. Think about it. Like we're, it's the end of the year, fam. Do you have your tree up yet? By the way, I'm not doing a fucking tree. <laughs> this guy, yo, well, next humbug, year nigga. is. I mean, next week is Christmas. Next yeah, week, nigga. next week Wednesday, no? Well, because oh. it's for t- like it's Thursday now for the people listening. So by next week, it would be. I have a fucking calendar. It's right here in my computer. I don't know why I'm not just looking. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's, Christmas is gonna be the Friday next week. Oh, Honestly, Friday. Oh, this yeah. year, out of every single year. Mm-hmm. This year, I felt like there's actually no Christmas spirit at all. I wonder, I wonder why. You did? Because it's not snowing. It's everybody's everybody's on lockdown. The vid. I'm talking about Toronto. The vid. Me, other than Atlanta, ain't nobody selling Christmas like and that, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's COVID, but it's a COVID Christmas, pretty much. Damn. Coronavirus. Next mm-hmm. week, yo, Merry Christmas to all our supporters. You know what I mean? Early Merry Christmas, yeah. Facto. Um, one second here. One second here. All right. All right. Yeah. So yeah. Um. Yeah. This cutting was brought to you by We Love Hip Hop. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill me. Um. Yeah. So food drives. There's the Bring Your A Game food drive that's going on right now. It's a six annual food drive. Uh, food drive is sponsored by um Hip Hop Food Drives. All right. So you can follow them on their website, Hip Hop Food Drive. So all correctly spelled dot com. Bunch of sponsors in there. I'm not going to go through all of the sponsors, but we wanted them. And um, yeah, man, make sure to donate some some par- non perishable goods and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Is there anything else that's going on like in the community you guys know about? Like I know Shot by Hus has one, too. Mm-hmm. I don't know exactly what. But I know he has a little food drive going on. He has a, like a big community thing that he's been doing. So shout out Shot by Hus. Um, follow him to get more details on that. Other than that, it's going back to what Gucci saying. There's not really even that. Like I don't even see a lot of Christmas drives or oh um. Well, I know there's more, man. And we're, we're gonna Chef get our head doing, bit off. Chef is doing something too as well for the homeless. He he's giving away a bunch of hand sanitizers and stuff for the homeless. So shout out Chefy as well. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there is stuff. I don't know if it's because of COVID, it's not being publicized as much. But yeah, fam, it's not. Everything's slow this year, Christmas, bro. It really doesn't. Just like the man said, next week, Christmas. I'm like, yeah, for real, bro. I'm going to go on Keep Six Org. Shout out to Keep Six Org. See what they got going on. I know they had something that was going on, but it already passed on December 12th, the, okay. the Stop the Violence thing. But um, I'll give a shout out to, to, to my boy, 40. He's got the um, R40 Foundation. Um, coming in the first quarter of 2021 so follow our 40 foundation all correctly spelled on instagram and you'll be able to learn more about what that is going to be doing but it's definitely going to be giving back to the community so look out for that nice and um big up to dj charlie b he's mm. giving away playstation 5 mm, yeah, yeah i remember i seen him, him and that. prem yeah, yeah so you guys could check out his page and check out what's going on with him yeah, Get yo, Preem, come forward, B. Yeah, man. Forward, B. We need that Preem interview, man. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, y'all want to get to some music, though? Some, Get some, it. Some, some new music. You know what I'm saying? The top six tracks that have dropped this week. It's been a busy week, man. Yeah, be a lot of tracks got, came out this week. Um, Quick thing I want to tell y'all quick also. Um, I guess I should fucking tell y'all before, but I'll tell y'all now. <laughs> this is... 
next week will be the last week for new Canadian music video list of new music. Mm. Okay. And then the week after that, we're going to be doing a full roundup of the top, the number one videos Jeez. of the whole year. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like doing a whole new list. So sorry for anybody who's dropping music after next week. We ain't tracking y'all music like that. We'll repost whoever we fuck with or whatever, blah, 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 or whatever the, you know, we'll talk about all that other shit. Mm-hmm. But as far as the list, as far as who's going to be in the top six music video in the last week of the year, that's going to be the top number one music videos of the whole year. year. Of the whole year. You know what I'm saying? And an honorable mention will all be number ones that have happened within the whole of 2020. Proper. You know what I'm saying? So 50, well, there's 56 um, weeks in a year, right? Yeah. Something like that. I might be wrong. Eat my back out if you want. Um, <laughs> but we'll have like, I guess, one week less than that, basically. All right. So that's the tunes. Yeah. So look out for that. It's going to be a crazy one. Mm-hmm. And then we'll probably do some year in reviews and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably do the same thing for six views. I'll come, by the way. Mm-hmm. Guys, check, check it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got a lot of special things coming down the pipeline because it's true say the holidays, you know what I'm saying? Um, but compiled of this week's new Canadian music video that dropped on Tuesday, all hot music videos. That montage had a lot of fire videos on it, you know what I'm saying? Facts. But the comment gang came out pretty strong, um, with the exception of number six, all right, just to be transparent. That's by the numbers, you know what I'm saying? But the between the, the five, it was like you know what I mean? People are popping up all over YouTube, Instagram, all over the fucking place. So big up to the comment gang. But number six, Young Tori. Sizu, or, or Senzu Beans. Senzu Beans. Beach, producer scared of me. Because I read they beat. I don't want to kill. What is a sensu bean? So a sensu bean is a Dragon Ball Z reference. Mm. It's something like when you're when you're down and out and you got no energy, you're just like you're about to die. Mm-hmm. You pop that sensu bean, you're you're five hundred percent. You're ready to go right away. <laughs> you swallow that, it's bloom right back up. So that's what that sensu bean. That's the reference. So you're saying what is that like a, a euphemism for like popping a perky or something? I guess so. Mm. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm I'm getting to the older head side, so <laughs> but I would assume that's what he's talking about. Gucci, Sensu Bean, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't rock with Dragon Ball Z back yeah, in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, actually, so you know, yeah, yeah you know. What I know what from. you're talking about. Yeah. Um, was it Piccolo that had it? Piccolo and man that had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are putting me on to shit. I forgot what the race was called. My bad, people. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But I actually like this song. I'm not a huge fan of, of Young Tory and his music because he's like again, he's like huge on the perkies and all them talks. Mm-hmm. But I like this song. It's a, it's a jiggy, it's a jiggy little song. He always has a jiggy song, but I'm I'm feeling this one. He's having a snow bunny party. I don't. I, <laughs> I don't mind him doing it for some strange reason though. You have no problems with him, but you maybe it's a bias. But Ro, Ro, yeah, I'm always eating no Roni's back. But it's a, I don't know if it's a bias thing. Maybe I don't know. But I don't mind young seeing him. It's just like I don't know. I guess I'm. I don't know. But it's. A, it's I like this tune. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I ain't mad at the video t- either. You know what I'm saying? He's having a good time. You know what I'm saying? Shorty over here. She looks like she's like whoa, 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 whoa. My head, my 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 neck, <laughs> my neck, my back. <laughs> but yeah, man, big up to young Tory, doing his thing. I'll keep it frozen right there. You know what I'm saying? Um, hard for that interview, my nigga. But number five, uh, Shockleazy, a.k.a. Yeah. Shockler, <laughs> one day away. Weather, you set up my home when I was on tour. I came back home, I couldn't love you more. I like the story he was telling here, man. Mm. Women are cold. <laughs> Females, I tell ya, boy. <laughs> They're dirty. Tell, them, tell the people why you think the people are so cold. Fam, the man went to work. And he opens up a sandwich <laughs> with a F was an F U and a smiley face from his thing. Like what? Oh man. What? yo, I would have gone and bun down that house. Are you dumb? When a woman's fed up. <laughs> Fam, I'm not gonna lie, this music video made me not like women again. Oh, relax. Not saying like I'm switching or anything, but like Come on, man. It's not that bad. They got back together near the end. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a sip. 
Wow. Who he's hurt you? <laughs> Yo, Gutsy. He's a simp. That, that nigga should have left. A lie, Shock? Yo. <laughs> I hope he's not talking about himself, Shock. Like, I'm not saying you're a simp, if that's you, but Listen, this nigga in the music video is a simp. We're going to have to talk to him once uh, once we get him on the, on, on the horn here. Mm. Let me pull it up to that part here where, where, where man gets hungry man looks at the sandwich no man just work a nice little two three hour shift yeah you know i'm saying he's getting ready for his break watch it watch it watch it now this little got gutsy all triggered right now yeah fam he's look watch now watch gucci. gucci the man, man doing he's his hard shoveling, labor he's hard doing his things labor. opens us the sandwich f you yeah. what <laughs> yeah. yo i'm signing that girl up for a celebrity boxing match oh man <laughs> Yeah, man. Look at him. Look at him. Contemplating life, fam. And you went back to the thing? No. Yo, but one thing, and I think we could all agree, from watching this video with everything that's going on, they they did a job with the video. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. He got me hooked with the video. Yeah. This, music video-wise... My my pick of the week. Mm. Uh, I'll give Shockler. Shockler always has dope. Like for, we were playing Shockler earlier. Mm-hmm. Like he always has dope videos. He's okay. always been number one for Toronto. Well, back in the day. Mm-hmm. So I like I like the visuals on this. You guys need to put some more support on your Toronto Legends too, man. Mm-hmm. Them views need to be higher. I don't like that. Yeah, but that me seen the that that sandwich with the fuck you. <laughs> that crop, yo. Holy, that that video looked like yo. Trust me, fam, good production. Ch- Come on, fam. Imagine you're coming home from We Love Hip Hop, just filming, and a girl, you know, you're you're going home trying to get dinner, and she has F you in the crazy. microwave. That's crazy. With a plate of some friggin' lasagna. There you go. Boom. Yeah, that's crazy. Definitely. Yeah, man. Well, listen. Big up to the legend, Shot Clear. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think the people could tell that he's going to be in here and in the show at some point in time you know what i'm saying so don't skip to the end just keep on listening to us now and you'll, we'll get the shot clear later in, when he's in the building too, <laughs> you know what i'm saying but um number five paris richards he say she say remix just that baby don't come he come easy 50 round drum my scene it every lemon he's fast okay got a female on the list here mm-hmm. shout out paris she came with the bars. Is that a Wheel of Hip Hop alumni as well? She's Six Views alumni. Six Views. Yes, yes, yes. Cool and, uh... Had an interview with her in maybe about two years ago now. And she will be popping up real soon if you if everything goes well. Okay, what is cool now? Let me hear this for a second here. Jeez. Yes, yes, yes. Yo, this um track right here, when I first heard it, I'm like, yo, she 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 went off. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause there's any hook in here, or she just raps all the way through. Mm-hmm. I believe there's a hook. I can't remember. Mm. But she she she's she's killing it. Like she's doing her thing, man. The video looks dope. Dope as hell. I feel like at this point right now, Toronto rappers are in competition to have the biggest stack. Facts. <laughs> yeah. But nah, she definitely killed it on the on the verse, you feel me? And big up TCF Media, you know what I mean, for shooting this fire okay. video. You know what I mean? He's my homies. <laughs> so shout him out one time. But nah, shout out to Paris. She she went hard on this, you already know. And she comes with the eyes. She has the look. She's trying to show you girls that she's the baddest bitch out here too. So you know you guys mm. you, you already know. You see the you see the you see the wrist. <laughs> I see the body. But yeah. It was, she said she went dope. to Kalani to get iced up. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Definitely a dope video. But yo, here's the thing. She's got to be consistent now. Yeah. Paris, you dropped something, so <laughs> you can't stop. I don't want to see something again like summertime. Yeah. Or like a year from now or something like yeah, that. Yeah, we, we got to see it. So be consistent, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, definitely, definitely. That's that. She she came with some fire, but, you know, with her and a lot of the, diff- the ladies out here, we just need to see more and more and more fire. I don't Facts. even have my more fire sound effects, but. More fire. You know what I'm saying? Um, big up to Paris Richard. Big, 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 big tune. And um, like Gucci was saying, you know, TCFM Media. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's the Gucci's media fam. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hey. Shut him up. Um, but number three, and we're in the top three now. J6 LAX. 
Take a trip to LAX and go get lit. Yeah, I'm back in the house. Yeah. Okay. So this is um these gentlemen, they're like, I don't know if they're here in Toronto. Actually, they're in Toronto. Okay. But I f- would imagine they're down there by uh, York Yorkville. I wouldn't know. Because they're in front of all of the Gucci, Gucci stores. Oh, no, my bad. Wrong video. Yeah. Wrong video. Um, Where is it? Where is it? J's LAX. Yeah, these guys, they're in front of like Gucci stores, Fendi stores, all of this shit here. So let me see here. Where are they? So this is the first time we've heard of J6, I guess? This is the first I time? I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I've heard his name before, but... Like, where are they? What Gucci store is this? You don't know. Me don't shop at them kind of place there. Mm. That's at the my tax bracket, eh? <laughs> this guy is dripped out with the Gucci um, track suit. We Love Hip Hop is not paying me that kind of money just yet, all right? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't be asking me for a bag. But yeah, I don't know. Gucci, where is that? <laughs> I mean, that would be the only person to ask, right? This this must be York. I would assume. I would assume it's Yorkville. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to say they're from there. But yeah, it's a nice little video there. I like the video. The man, them, they're out there doing their thing. It's masked up at least, thank God. <laughs> guys, come on. throw. throw. I know you guys have a one-two baddie you can throw in there. Even if she's not a baddie, she can just twerk a twerk us. Oh, it's too cold outside for the baddie right Fam, now. you can come through right there and just have a baddie just twerking. You know what I'm saying? In a bubble goose. Yeah, in a bubble goose or a trench coat. <laughs> no no bikinis and ski masks for this video right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, big up to J6. You know what I'm saying? Him and the squad doing their thing. Oh, yeah, they are downtown. I just see the, the Air Canada Center. Yeah, yeah, they're downtown somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I, I be knowing my downtowns. <laughs> but yeah, um, one thing, I don't want to be a negative Nancy. Just not a lot going on in the video. I, but at least it wasn't in a trap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got, out, they got out, out the trap downtown. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Next time, just holler at your boy, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we'll, we'll see about Wagwan with some of them Gucci gears there. <laughs> um, number two, Lil BK and Kenzo run the streets. Niggas mm. that'll lift you off your feet, yeah. Who run the streets, yeah. Who run the streets. I'm not so true. Fire. It looks like his, this one's from oh, downtown man. too as well. That's your tune right there, Gooch. Oh man, I um, yeah, I th- it, uh, this. Talk it, to me, Gucci. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Still, I feel all right. Yeah, this is my pick of the week, so because it just you rock with it. it. It's just fire like that. I it's messed up. I, <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not messed up. You like what you like, fam. Music is music at it, the yeah, end of the yeah, day. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like you like what you like. There, there, like it doesn't matter. You like that? That's it all, that's sounds all fire say. to me. I'm not like. Listen, for the people who haven't heard the song and they're like, why is Gucci be like, eh, 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 eh. it's a very oppy fucking track. Yeah. Okay, I'll just fucking spit it out there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's very oppy. It is, uh, the people like what they like. It's the comment gang who just definitely picks who makes it to the top of the list. Yeah. Right? It's just some of the tracks that are very fucking oppy happen to be pretty fire too. But it's not even just that. We know how our city is, bro. Like, we know the the music that gets put out. We also know what people like. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's not to, like, to, to go against anybody else or to discredit anybody else. But sometimes music is friggin' hot. One of my favorite songs of all time is Takeover. This nigga is ruining how many friggin' people. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's Jay. But at the end, it, it's a diss track. So, it's a little... It's different, too. It's a because little it's different. O- no, because no, no, because it's over here now. That's the problem now. Yeah, but so no, Jay we, wasn't shitting on people's. No, family man was talking about that. taking condoms on the baby. I know that was super ugly and yeah. stuff, but he was really getting personal. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. over here, it's just it's different. Yes, because whatever we don't want to talk about yeah. whatever, but it's just different in a sense where it's just over here now. Mm. So when you like things now, it's a little bit different when the niggas like, oh, you like Jay Z over that person, where it's now it's just like, oh, you like that person over that person in the city. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like now it becomes a problem. But yeah. it's like we we are we know what it is. Even going to the next song, like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're just reporting the news. Tell me that sticky icky that's on the table right there, um, Gucci. Yeah, right, right, right. thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, yeah. Little, B, um, little BK and Ken, um, yeah. Kenzo. Yeah, man. Um, 
But the number one video in Canada this week. One eyes. One, one, one. Shout out. Breaks? One second here. Where am I doing? My damn Shout out Paul Bunyan, man. YG Blue T. This is fire too. <laughs> Yo, yeah. the man. Oh. This is my song of the week, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm not say unfortunately. <laughs> just going back to what we just said. Yeah. Like the man's talking about a lot of shit about you know his ops, but it's like the song is fire. <laughs> And that's yeah. a, the beat like, is crazy. It, unfortunately, that's the it's it's a problem and it's not because he knows how to make good music. Yeah. So take out the op shit. He doesn't have to that you know why Jesus old man. But I'm saying you take out the op shit. The song's still friggin' fire. So mm-hmm. to me, it's just like it, it is what it is, man. You, to me, again going back to the actual song and mm-hmm. the music video, I just like the fact that he brought it back, like the blue tea, the the B. It brought it back to yeah, in my white tea. Yeah, it it, it just. For him to do that, the beat, the dance, <laughs> how he's rapping, everything. I, yeah. I, I, I read, yeah, he's I doing read, the, the, what is it, the snap the or whatever? Lean with the, it, rock. Lean with it, rock. Lean with it, rock. Like, I, I give him credit for that. And that's what I'm saying. Like, he's talented, Yeah, he's fam. very talented. I think he might have broke the stack meter. He's fire. Yeah? He might have broke the stack meter on this one. Like, the man, is the, the, the stack that he's hugging right there, I'm like, yo, holy, <laughs> bro. Yeah. Like yeah, this yeah. guy's broke baby. the bank. Yeah, he's baby in there. He's cradling <laughs> it. It's a cradle thing. They just look like they're having a good time. Shout out to top five, aka Pedro. Pedro. You know what I'm saying? He's, they're, they're they're all just yeah. But yeah, I understand. I understand, guys. It's it's sticky out there. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> Very, it is. Like, can, okay, can we have this conversation quick? Let's do it. Is it sticky to even just be media here in Toronto? Because, like, just to commentate on shit that's going on in this fucking city makes it feel like we got to be very careful with our words. You know, um, if we like this, that means we like that side. And it's like, man, we just we're just potting. Yeah, we are. But it is sticky at the same time Mm -hmm. because people feel like our word is bond. You know what I'm saying? They feel like our word has power behind it and shit. So if we're saying that, yo, this song is fire, Mm. it's kind of like, oh, you're encouraging our ops. Facts. Well, not facts, but but that's, that's how, how they, they feel. That's how they feel. Yeah. So even if like we're even if we're not saying whatever, but mm. we're talking about we like the song or the song's number one. A lot of people too. We know how how our comment gang is. They don't even know how the the number one songs are picked. They probably still think that we pick these songs even after we tell them they're the ones how who the shit them. works. Yeah. yeah. But they'll still think that oh, you guys pick these songs. You're promoting these yeah. songs. You're promoting mm. our ops. And unfortunately, like. They can't think bigger because just like we always say, they're not thinking bigger. You, they're not thinking big picture. They're just thinking, oh, you guys, again, you guys are just promoting our ops. You guys are this and that and the third. Like, it's not that, nigga. We're just promoting what's hot, not the ops. It's not even promo- no, it's not it's even not what's us. hot. We're promoting, one, this countdown is promoted by the people. Yeah. And the music that gets put out. So Back. if you put out music, yes, we're going to promote the music yeah. on the countdown if you get over 100, uh, 500 views. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But... Like everything else, fam, that's to the people. This has nothing to do with us. It's and true. even if the music, if the song is hot, the song's hot, fam. Mm-hmm. Whether or not you're up or not, whatever, the song's hot, B. So it's- look pa- look past that and be like, okay, well, are you are you guys funding our freaking ops? Are you guys doing different? Now, that's different. Yeah. But if we're just saying, well, whatever, the man put out the music, it, the song was hot. Yes, he, he said whatever, whatever about your ops. It sucks, but whatever. We kept it moving. We're media. We're a platform. This is our job. This is, you know what I'm saying? We're And like, we're going to interview somebody who is from one end and then interview somebody from another end. It's not ever, we're not ever thinking, yo, let me get these guys on the fucking thing because we rock with these guys and, you know, fuck these guys. We're never going to get on these. They're never going to get on because we don't fucking rock with that block. Like, hell no. You drop music, you get to a certain level. We want to talk to you, fam. Facts. It's but true. That's all it is. Yeah. I don't give a fuck where you from. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah, as much as you think that, like, yeah, we're benefiting you guys, 
we're looking for benefit too because mm-hmm. we're looking to be huge we're trying to be global we're trying to take we love hip-hop to a global status you know Facts. what i mean so we're looking at what could make us pop mm-hmm. what could help us what could you know like we're trying to make it worldwide mm-hmm. so it's not even like we're against anything you know and i mean and the reason why i freeze up sometimes when i talk about like you know someone's track is because it's kind of disrespectful and sometimes i think about them like yo should i should i tell you guys i really how i really feel like i think about it that's why i freeze up more times i'm just like yo yeah but i like the track but i don't want to make someone feel a type of way because people be like yo why you play this music? I don't, you know, like people do say that. Why you play this? Why you talking about? It? So I think about that and I freeze up, but you know, I'm still going to tell you at the end of the day, like I rock with that music. Well, that's the, that's the fucking problem. It's like, we feel that way that like, you know, a little apprehensive. Let me just chill before I say, yes, I completely like it because of the state of the way the city is right now. Right. Yeah. So it's like, it makes it hard to just either like, just like some shit just because you like it. You know what I'm saying? Here's the thing, and I don't want to be a Debbie Downer on the mm. thing. Comment gang, maybe you can help us towards this. Do we need to maybe do the top six without commenting on anything then? Yeah, I'm fucking right. I'm not, <laughs> listen, I, listen, you can say whatever you want about it. We're going to still do this shit. You know what I'm saying? If a video comes up and it's on the thing, we ain't going to let motherfuckers be, get us to the point where it's like, just because you guys got issues, we can't commentate on while well, go on, on on your music video. Facts. Come the fuck on. I'm going to do it, dude. But I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that's... Let's fucking grow up. Hey, again, again, maybe that's something you guys can do too. You know what I'm saying? You guys can start your own little podcast or whatever video countdown. Start your own thing where there's no commentating and you don't have to hear us talk about the videos. Because at the end of the day, we're a podcast. Mm -hmm. And we have a top six. That's a part of our... That's one of our segments. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about the videos that come out. And that's that's helping artists at the end of the day. Good or bad. And we're not gonna like every fucking video because we're not le- we're not yes men. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But let's get to the honorable mentions. You wanna read it or you want me to read it? Um let me put it up. My bad. Oh, honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. All right. Gutsy guts in the building. Oh, sh- <laughs> <laughs> All right, honorable mentions. Classified. The bells are ringing with Braga Isabel. He missed two. So MG4LRK, um, that's alumni, and okay. Peter Bones, that's my first artist that I ever managed, AWOL Records. Oh, um, if I go, okay, and then the other one that oh. um, Ultra Twenty Two and Shrez, Jamis J Trust, Jamis Je Trust. Jeez. That means I never trust you. Okay, <laughs> yo, the, these Montreal, their their thing, their names hard, but yeah, uh, classified. The bells are ringing with Braga Isabel. Uh, carry music so well. But you know that you're smart. You like to do your own thing so they can tell you apart. Never let nobody. Des Mueller, Long Nights. Nano Benji, Problem Child. Manda, Silent Night. Smooth Dollars, Killy Killy. Might just bring a shot right back to the city. Cause he goes. Fro and Momo, Them Days. Stepper, Messy. Little OT, Letter to My Dog. That's actually a big tune, sorry. Mm. <laughs> uh, Tory Lane, Solo Drive at Night, uh, Sliding, Same Shift. I gotta be somebody, fuck with these niggas and say, let me tell you what it is. Other Side, Leo, Kofi, Slow It Down. Not me. <laughs> what is this? Uh, Boulevard Zoe, Ma- is it Boulevard Zoe, Make Em Twirl, Kem, Bagging It. Cash is getting hard to manage. Hard to manage. Brazy, Priceless, Edible Sound, Cosign, Fat Flea, Credibility, K Goon, Money Call featuring Lady X. Lady X. Lady X. Belvy Benjamin Button. <laughs> Why you gotta lie? I like that name. Karomas, Chromita. Chromita. Zero Mob featuring Dujan and Shaq Baby. And Don Baba and X Cum, X Q added up. Added up, running up, added up, running up, added up. We used to the greatness, don't want to fake. Nope. Don Baba and Kings and King CVM? That's how you say it? I don't know. That might be King Cum. 
That's why I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't know if it was. Please King correct Kong us or... in the comment, gang. <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, the name was just like, God damn. I was like, jeez. Oh. I, I didn't want to say come. So I was just like, King Q. <laughs> that might be a typo. Um, Rolex Homie. No, sorry. Let's start with Rowdy Rebel. All right. Rowdy. Rowdy, Rowdy Home. Okay. He's home. That nigga hasn't been home. Like, he came outside, mm. and I don't think he went inside anywhere since. Like, that nigga, <laughs> he's been outside the whole freaking time. Like Standing I, on top of cars. Yeah, like, this nigga, oh, Lee. That's a good moment. I like that, too. I like that all the blogs are putting it out there. Mm-hmm. I like that people are like, you know, they had money for him. Yeah. That, to me, the fact that they had, like, money and a whole bunch of, like, nigga, you ain't got to go back to the streets. I Yo, to me, as a man that, that's that been out and really didn't come home to anything mm. or anyone, yeah. well, I came home to people, but you know what I'm saying? That, like, I felt that, and I was just like, that's some real shit, bro. That's some real shit right there. And I think he's still signed. Because him and Bobby were signed before... Um before he, before they went away. Yeah, but didn't the label was like fuck it with them because the label wasn't really rocking with them, remember? I'm not sure. Because they got in trouble? Yeah, I remember the label was kind of parting ways with them. They <laughs> yeah. were like, hey, well, you got in trouble, so. Shit, that's a recall. That's yo. that's your thing over there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we ain't involved. We ain't involved. We didn't know nothing about that. You go deal with that shit. So <laughs> I feel like they're going to be off that quick no matter what. Tell me what we got to pay. So here's my question. And... Bobby's going to be home next year. For the people who are wondering, like, Jeez. where's Bobby? Why he didn't come home earlier than Roddy Rebel? Everybody knows that Roddy, uh, sorry, Bobby took more years so that his whole team can get less. Facts. Right? <coughs> there were Sorry to cut you. There mm-hmm. were some men that got life, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there were some men that got life. Like, they're not coming home. But he was offered three, and he took seven so that Roddy's sentence can get down to, like, basically the same as his. Mm-hmm. Right? But Roddy came home first. He didn't have any institutional charges, obviously, because there was, you know, reports that Bobby had a shank and all types of things. So those things add up and they're called institutional charges. You get into uh, you get an institutional charge. That means you're getting charged for something new in jail. 30, 60 days, 90 days. Exactly. Yeah. Should add up. Yeah. So now when you go in front of the parole board, they see, oh, you got a few institutionals denied. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you ain't seeing Bobby. But my question to y'all, do you think Roddy Rebel can blow up? Blow up how, though? Like, he's he's on top of the car saying King of New York, fam. Can mm-hmm. he be King of New York? No. 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 <laughs> Tell me why. He's not. He just wasn't it. There's no this no dis to him. And it's all, it, you know, he, he even though he came out even before um, Bobby, I think it's a more situation where he just he wasn't the one. Bobby was the one. So we know when he comes home, it's mm. going to be just a diff- It's The feeling that you got for him is going to be even 10 times more. So when Bobby does come home, and they remember, now that he's home, everybody remembers they left like 2016. Jeez. That's almost so five minute. years. Mm-hmm. So Bobby's going to be home 2021. Is he going to be the guy? Yeah. He's the guy. He's yeah, going to be the yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. You guys like, are confident in, in this. No, hold in on, New hold York. on. No. In New York? Yes. In New York? Um, yes. Because who has it in New York? Fabio. 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 Fabio is the guy. Fabio is the guy. But he doesn't have Fabio it. Fabio is the guy. He doesn't For have now. it. Fabio okay. is the guy. He's the default guy. I wouldn't, you know what? I wouldn't even say Fabio has it. I would say CJ has it way more than Fabio CJ. right now. Yeah. Facts. No. CJ, yeah, what yeah, this yeah, song yeah. is way oh. bigger to me, that's bigger than Big Drip. Fabio's consistent. Nah. Mm. No discredit he's to Fabio. Every, he's not. Every he's track not. he comes out, you know it's a hit. Mm-mm. You don't. He came up he with maybe two, miss. three bangers, and then everything oh else has been me. It's been mid. That, it, it, don't get me wrong. Nah. He has a fan base and everything. Okay. But I'm telling you, Bobby, Bobby will kill that. So you guys are saying that a man can go away for six years and come home and still be the guy here's the thing the I, only reason yeah. sorry no you talk, talk yeah actually you're right still because when you're coming home especially on giving man's less time they're just going to give you so much respect anything you say is like a goal like a green light everybody's just going to rock with you and you know he has that energy already mm. 
Bobby came with that dancing energy. I'm, so, not, he's, I'm not going to say he's the first one who did it, but he came with that energy that now we all rock with. Because we got to keep a few things in mind. This is six fucking years. Music changes like every six months. No, here's the thing why I think he can work. Bobby never really got out. He dropped two songs. Like he really dropped two songs and then he hold went on, inside. Hold on, hold on. Yo. Yo. What are you saying? Just chilling. I just to call and see what the man them are saying. I know I couldn't beat her in the flesh. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. PK Herc in the building. E- gang, gang. <laughs> Yo, do your intro. Do your intro. <laughs> Yo, it's PK. I'm man down in Parkdale. I'll see y'all next week. E- you know what I'm saying? E- but I wanted to just call in and big up the team. You know what I mean? Jeez. <laughs> yeah, the man them hold your head, you know what I'm saying? I had a little emergency surgery today. That's why I couldn't be there. Mm. So, you know what I'm saying? I'll be there in the flesh next week. But I just want to big up the man them. So you guys hold your head. And my pick of the week was run the streets. Jeez. Wow. You with me? <laughs> that was Gucci's pick yeah, also. Wrong. Number two, like I was a close there with, with YG. I won't lie, but. Just that run the streets just did it for me. Mm. I like the beat on Blue Tito. Don't get me quick. I like the like the pace and the rhythm and the beat of everything. But yeah, number two or whatever number came out, <laughs> run the streets. That's my track. Okay. <laughs> you heard it from PK Herc himself, Jeez. and 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 he don't have the Rona. So just for the people to know, yeah, no, yeah, it's yeah. not Rona. No, no, it's emergency dental surgery. You know what I'm <laughs> All right, so, all right, all right. So I just wanted to big up the man, then big up the team, gang, gang, gang. You know gang. What I'm saying? <laughs> all right, you're done, uh, no king. Yeah, yeah. What well, you guys said? I'll talk to you guys next week. All right. All right, king. All right, big up yourself, Toronto. PK Herc. PK Herc in the motherfucking building. Yeah, man. Um. Okay, so Bobby. Not even just with Bobby. I'm talking about time span. Because just let's take it away from Bobby for a second and just take it just on rappers going to jail, period. How much time can you be in jail before you get cold? I think it depends on the artist. Okay. I really do think it because you know what I'm saying? Like if it's, um, I don't know, but if it's like a regular smuggler. Mm-hmm. Like you, know, you only had a few videos out. You got a few tens yeah. of thousands. No, you never touched a mill. Okay, for an example, sorry, sorry to hit on your pick, Gucci. Mm. If Fabio goes to jail for five years and he comes back out, he's not going to be relevant. He's not going to be the guy no more. He's not going to be even close to what he was. You know what I'm saying? I think I could agree with that. Now, what do you think, Gucci? I agree because <laughs> <laughs> Bobby got what a half a billion views on that hot boy. Was it? Yeah, 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 hot 500, nigga, yeah. 500 mil. It's, it was different. Niggas are still waiting for the hat to drop, my nigga. <laughs> Peak, we should have still asked her. Kirk is still waiting for the hat to drop, That's my G. That's a whole fact. So it's like, it's a different... 665 I, re- million yeah, views. That is... He almost hit a billion. 600. 665 million. Million. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's different. That's why I feel like Bobby's just... But it's different. Yeah. Like, Bobby could do that. Again, Casanova. Casanova's not like Casanova coming out. He's not. So if Casanova music. gets he one, gets, he can he can still have a career. But if he gets no, six, Casanova gets two or one, he can't have a career. Even he's done. one, he's done. Wow, Cass is done. If he gets any time, Cass is already not that relevant. Yeah, mm. punch him in his face. Take <laughs> that's, that, think about it. That song no, was almost three, four years ago, my nigga. Yeah. Yeah. What has he done since? You're still singing that song. What, <laughs> I, and no, he doesn't no, have and a it's hit. not to hate on him. I'm a cast fan. Mm. But it's yeah. what have he you done for me hit. lately? Like, I'm hit. a realist fan. <laughs> what has he done? What, what, what have you done for no, me you lately? Need, mm-hmm. No, you need a you mm-hmm. need a hit hit. So okay. All right. Uh, I know I feel like I want to push this example just one little bit more. Who who, who can I put on a level? Okay, Tory Lanes. All right. He's in a case right now. Now, let's say he's guilty and he gets 10 years. Yeah. Is he still going to be hot when he comes home? Yes. 10 years? Yes, he will. Because it'll be the biggest case. 
it's we know it's not about yes part of it is music and Tori makes great music but at the same time it, it, it's about the media mm-hmm. well who knows how media and everything will be but I'm still pretty sure like the news is always the buzzworthy thing that's never changed about media yeah, yeah. so Tory coming out. Oh my God! What is he putting out? What, everybody's gonna. We we look how much people waited for when he came out. Now, so yeah. God only knows you got convicted. Went inside, nigga. I want to hear what you're gonna say. You lied to us. Yeah, but Did they lied to us. Like for you know how long though? They're probably just gonna want to hear what he has to say for like that one video. One, you know, like mm-hmm. just that two tracks and then. All right, let me go back to the new artist. That's true too. Yeah, like your ten, 10 years, years. Is a long that's a good point time, too. Man. That's a good point too. <laughs> yeah, like Bobby might come out and have one two tunes, and just might just perish. Mm-hmm. But he will. I, I'm assuming he'll have at least one. He'll hot, have one. Why? Hot because- niggas, hot niggas, six sixty five. Mm-hmm. But Bobby bitch that also came out like a year after hot nigga, mm-hmm. one point eight mil. That's a super drop. There you go. But, good but, example but but he didn't get a chance to promote it but it's what a, do you mean yeah, you gotta remember gone. he was already gone he was already gone <laughs> the song came out maybe like a day or two after or before he left huh? but, but you so, still get promotion when you get knocked look at k but, money you can't you can't yeah. you can't but use excuse but toronto has changed but the again the They're, media has changed so k money and them are, are toronto's biggest thing bobby was just new york's biggest thing you know what i'm saying he like i said he didn't get out yet those guys he, are a perfect example. That sorry to interrupt you. That's a perfect example that you just bought up, though. No, they are a perfect example. You know what I'm saying? But it also they're going to come home and they'll be hot. N- but how long have they been been away? Think uh, about it. Come outside, got big. Almost three years. But it's different. Come outside, got big when they were inside. You it know was what I'm already saying? Like, it's, be- it's, it was getting big before. It was that. getting big before. It was already playing in the stadiums and all that before. But that. they think about it. When it really got big, they went inside. And then like everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they will be, they, they still will be big because they have music out and they weren't signed. It's a different situation because they've still been somehow consistently putting out music. Yeah. Where Bobby just had two songs and he hasn't been able to do anything else. Yeah. They've dropped like five music videos in their bid. You know what I'm saying? It's different. Yeah. To me, I think he's going to die down. Um, Like, honestly, I like Fabio more as much as, yeah, like he hit that big number. Mm. But people, you can't say that because there's... There's um one hit wonders that hit big numbers and then they go ghost. Look at Panda. Yeah. I swear he has almost a billion views. Designer. You're gonna tell yeah. him. You're gonna tell me that he's better than Fabio. Yes. <laughs> he has no. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. See, that's that's I, what I'm I'll trying give to say. Fabio that designer. He got the, he yeah. got designer in a fucking battle. That's what I'm saying. He has if that. I, if they one, go five songs, five. <laughs> they don't have five songs to go against each other. Fam, <laughs> sorry. He has Panda. Timmy Turner. He has the Nike song, Adidas song. I don't. Need, I never even heard Timmy Turner. He has. He can do the Panda remix. With Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get off of this shit. <laughs> we got a Zoom fucking meeting to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, good discussion though. You know what I'm saying? Let let us know in the comments. How much time does um? A rapper have before he gets cold if he goes away to jail and is, is there any toronto ones that can come out and be hot yeah 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 let us know in the comments um let's cut to a break here we're good with cams here yeah. um let's cut to a break here i'm gonna pull from another one of my um uh, alumni artists mm-hmm. left field keel all mm. right he's a former honorary alum um empire member he was one of my artists under the AWOL umbrella back in the days. Cool, so, no? Watch, watch Freddy for pulling out the bag. You know cool, no? He just dropped a new video called How I Feel, so I'm going to give it a spin right now, see? Watch the plug. Turn on plugs. AWOL is still the team, my nigga. Um, I want to hold you for a moment. We have a segment called Smoke and Mirrors. All right? And our smoke and mirror segment okay. is like basically like our news segment where we get into like local news, mostly hip hop stuff, and you know, you know, sometimes we go into the states and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. Sorry, but for the people who are just tuning into the audio part of the um, smoke and mirror segment, we got Shaw Claire in the motherfucking building. Day ten, I'm on the road again till day nineteen. Yo, I'm living this dream. 
Yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm going to just hit on a couple of quick things. And I'm just, just to give you all some quick updates of what's going on. Not just to like, maybe not to have too much discussion because it's more Toronto rapper based, but y'all could throw your opinions in if you want. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, I did a news story on the, on the show News from the Six that we um, got on the platform as well on Rolex Hami. Now, first in the news, rapper Rolex Hami hits the mainstream media once again for the alleged shooting of a woman on Saturday, December 12th in the area of Spadina and Queen. Um, hitting the mainstream for a shooting in the middle of downtown um, Toronto. Right, um, where a, a young lady was hit um, in in the shooting. Now, the reason that I bring up this because he had a song before um, Avengers K. I don't know if you ever heard the song Shocks that was like blowing up the scene. And probably not. <laughs> you, you, you never heard the song Avengers K. Uh, I may not know the title of it, but I don't know. I, I may not have heard know the title, but I may have heard the track. All right, so the track it got taken off of YouTube a couple of times and then reposted a bunch of times because they were feeling, and I don't know if this is the powers that be at YouTube as well, that the track was um, responsible for raising some of the murder rate that was going on over here. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, he hit the mainstream news with that, you know what I'm saying, with his picture up and all that. So I just wanted to reiterate the story that I did up on the, on the thing. But one of our um, We Love Hip Hop alumni, um, um, Hoodlum, Hancho Hoodlum, um, he's mm. apparently not free right now. So there's a thing on Keep Six Solid saying, um, free Toronto's very own Hancho Hoodlum. Um, he was arrested and charged for an alleged shooting incident. So I guess it kind of ties into what we were speaking about in the end of the interview um, that we just had, right? Mm -hmm. um, this Toronto, like... Are these guys stopping their potential? Not just only these guys, but, but just Toronto's rappers as as a whole, because a lot of them have not made it. Even they're not a lot of them not even alive. Mm -hmm. What can we do to keep the Toronto rappers like out of trouble, hey. man? I think he froze. You do really? You? I think he can hear. Oh, you know, he can't hear him. Like some of these are it happens it's like there's, it's we we're saying earlier it's like it's deeper than music it's like you know mm -hmm. like some real street politics and and just stuff that happens you know um, and then uh, somehow there's a rapper there like I don't know the full story of everything and all of that I was actually watching something the other day and they were talking about some of the Toronto rappers that are dead or on the run and can't be found and missing and excuse me uh, and stuff. It froze again. Jeez. It goes back to my thing where I was saying about more opportunity and connecting the whole scene. Mm -hmm. Because I think people get some people get hype, and they it, a lot of the people that boost them are just a lot of people that are just in their direct circle area neighborhood. Mm -hmm. They might get a big boost and all these likes and whatever, but sometimes, and it's not everybody. Uh, you know, but sometimes the biggest people that know about them are either their enemies that they're dissing or their homies that are boosting the song. Mm. But, you know, that one person that's riding on the train listening to their earphones may not have a clue, mm -hmm. you know. And so then that's where sometimes those potentials will go because, yeah, they get a ton of views and they get it. You know, they get a ton of views. Their Instagram numbers are high and, you know, and everything is looks great and whatever. And then everything is just cut short. And then all you see in other pages is rest in peace and, and whichever. And I just think that, um, like, if the industry really grappled it, it's like, you, if you go to L.A. and you want to be an actor, uh, whether you're good or not, mm -hmm. you, there's so many things you could do to at least attempt to be. Yeah. You know, there's acting school, there's plays, there's theater, there's, you know what I mean? Like, there's all these different to get up and in there if you're in new york and you want to be a musician you, there's all these different things you know that yeah. there's all these different things that people have if they if you want to be a hockey player in canada it would cost a little bit of money because hockey is expensive but there's all these different ways you can get into hockey facts so it's like just one of those things where it comes to music it's like if you have these guys that are just 
dope in the neighborhood. You know, there's the 16 year old kid that's just, you know, he's just freestyling good and battling and whatever. And he's good in, in people. And this is where it comes into like the older cats and people see these guys and in whichever. Like, I'm not saying because you may not be financially able to do it. Uh, you Maybe you don't have the time, but at least you can have somewhat of the membership uh, mentorship mm -hmm. to, you know, to help guide that person. Because when I was growing up, then I grew up right uh, like on Markham Road between Eglinton and uh, and Lawrence mm -hmm. and then later on in Malvern. Uh I would have cars, you know, because my older brother was kind of into the streets and stuff like that. I would see cars pull up to two streets, like just walking to go to Cedar Bray Mall and two tires just pull up on the curb. And the immediate thing is like, OK, I'm getting jacked. I don't got nothing on me. I think I, all I got is 20 bucks. Mm. I was really just I don't know. I was going to the arcade, whatever I was doing. I was whatever. I'm getting jacked. But it was just people from the neighborhood. Now, they didn't have to roll up on me so gangster-like because it <laughs> scared the hell out of me. Yeah. But uh, they would roll up and they'd be like, yo, they would call me Junior. And they'd be like, yo, Junior, where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, whatever. And they, they would actually give me like 10 or 20 bucks and be like, yo, stay off the street. You're too, you have, you know, because they knew I was starting to do my thing. And they'd be like, hey, you know, like, keep on your thing. This is not for you. You have a better, you know, just giving you stuff. And it, yeah. and it helped kept me straight because then if they saw me on the street, you know, they wanted to go and talk to me in a way. They'd be like, yo, we told you whatever. And then if I wanted to claim the street, then I guess they'd be like, all right, well, you, and then you find out how it really is, right? Yeah. Uh, but they kept me off it. And then those are the things where if you're in your neighborhood and you see these guys that have potential, you know, there's always different ways to go and mentor them into something. If you know somebody that knows somebody, you can tell them, you know, check out my boy. Mm -hmm. If you have the whereabouts with you and you think that you're good in business or hustling and whatever, use that hustling skill that you'll take to go and do whatever in the illegal activity over there and go and put it, you put those same principles to pushing this, we'll just call this guy crack for now. Yeah. Push this crack to the rest of the world in the way, same mentality that you do it. You, 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 you know, everybody has to learn the game or else you wouldn't be a great hustler if you didn't know it. So if you don't know about learn about it and be the great hustler that you can. Yeah. And I think those are the things that we need to go and do because yeah, it's a shame to see all this talent, like, all these guys that are getting so big, like, you know, we didn't have people getting big like that. Not to this, not that many at the, views at the same time. Or whatever, that just. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, these guys, yeah, we wouldn't have that. And, and all these people doing that and loving us and whatever. And then imagine it's gone. Imagine if I just dropped Let's Ride and all you saw was the video and the album didn't come out because I was doing some stuff and yeah. Ice Cold was the first last record on a major that you ever heard. Yeah. And you would have missed out on light it up and rubbing videos and these videos and that video and that video. Yeah. So it's just a shame that all of that is, is, is uh, getting hurt and our potential is getting hurt because we really need to go and get these young kids in, give them some structure, you know, let them be them, but give them some, not structure. It may make me sound like an old parent. You give them some like, you know, just some guidance on like, you know, like just mind, right. You're in a good situation. You know, it's like when you get that, uh, it's like when you get that job, your first good job, not a job at like McDonald's. And if you have a job at McDonald's, you know, at least you have a job. It's good. So I'm not dissing McDonald's, but you get that entry level job at CIBC. But this is what you want. You're an economist. You like that. Mm. All you need is five years to get there. So focus on the five years to get there. You know, you have the first single, you got 200,000 views and 300,000 streams and people are liking you and you. Your name is being popped up, bro. Okay, now I get it. Life doesn't just change like that, but you got to change focus now because mm -hmm. you have op there's opportunity there. And what do they say? What do they say about luck? They say luck is always being prepared for when opportunity comes. Mm -hmm. Like luck doesn't just you don't just get good luck. It, like oh you met Diddy. Oh okay. Oh Diddy That's comes up to you and says rap. You know Diddy says rap. Yo, if you haven't been practicing your rap, you're gonna come out and be like, and then you're gonna, he's gonna be like, ah oh, man, I thought it was better than that. Mm -hmm. But if he comes out and says rap and then you boom, 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 he's going to be like, you were prepared. That was, there was an opportunity that you got to meet Diddy and you were prepared for it. What is the, and what is the what bargain? Saying. That's the skill. And that's where we need to teach these guys. What's the bargain? Uh, luck, only uh, luck, luck is being prepared for opportunity when it comes. Luck is being prepared. I'm writing this. I'm sending, I'm going to send this to myself. <laughs> oh Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, man. You gotta tweet it in the morning. Like luck, luck is only like lottery and stuff like that, you know. Or if you're prepared for the lottery, you got enough money to buy a bunch of lottery tickets that one of them tickets are gonna win. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know. <laughs> okay, so, so let me yeah. let me shoot um another news story at us over here. Um before mm-hmm. we before we hit the road here. Or maybe we can squeeze in a couple more here. Um so biggest um daily biggest one day seizure in Toronto police history. Crazy. Okay. Sixty five guns, more than um a hundred and six kilos of yayo, uh, or coke, right? Sixty five kilos of yeah. fentanyl, and it was like uh, one point eight million dollars in total in one bust in one guy's apartment. One person. How does that even make sense? White guy, by the way. No, and I okay. Uh, this is the reason why I want to throw uh, yeah, that in there. That's, uh, okay, because. There's so much of the bust that have been happening in the city where it's like they're taking out these organizations and these gangs, these gangs, these gangs. And then they come into this one guy's yard who's got the whole barrage for the whole of fucking Canada. <laughs> yeah. And he's some white guy. The man's pretty much what is it, facilitating the Toronto gangs. I don't want yeah. to I don't want to put that assumption out there, but Jesus Christ. Hey, listen. When they get to the yeah, top. that could have been a set. It could have been a setup or something. Because why would you have that much stuff? Like, unless you're just a house sitter, why would you have all of that in one house? They said it was in plain sense. sight. They said all the like the burners were all in plain sight, and he was just like chilling on the couch. Maybe, you know, maybe it was a was it a sting or something? And they thought he he was about to. I don't know. I I, I heard the story, but I didn't hear the details. But like that just sounds fishy. Like I could. Like you don't never keep all you know they say don't keep all your eggs in one basket like <laughs> this guy had the whole chicken in there. I don't want to bait out what happened. I don't I don't want to bait out what happened because well you know what, what is happened. what what is said in the news report? Well I don't know, well, fam. Whoever they everybody just said yo let's go pack up and go drop the things at homie's house. <laughs> yo yeah, you know we're gonna yeah, we're gonna yeah. switch we're That's gonna exact, yeah. we're gonna switch up. And Something's they, not right. They with took that too story. long. They took too long. They everybody came in with a bunch of bags. People are seeing it like, yo, what the hell is going on there? You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's exactly what happened. Well, they said mm. in a news report that most of the guns that they found in the on the location were like all pipeline from like Florida or some shit like that. Yeah. So see, and the thing is, is that and it's crazy. You said it was at a, like a white guy's house. It was mm-hmm. where they found it all. I forget his name, but they popped his name up on the news and everything too. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, where, where did you say what part of Toronto it was in? It was like in the Etobicoke, west the west, like yeah. a, a, like in like a decent residential area. Or yeah, in yeah, like... yeah, 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 yeah. It was like it wasn't in the worst. Like it wasn't like a big gang or so gang oriented area. It was like yeah. See, it, it, that's the funny thing is because it's it it that's that or maybe see maybe it wasn't because that's usually where all this the, the big comes in there unassuming place. No one's gonna go white picket fence with a dog and a. Well, it wasn't one of those type of neighborhoods. It was like still like a middle class neighborhood, but it wasn't like a gang associated type of neighborhood. Like they were were saying, the neighbors were saying, like, "Wow, like this nothing like this ever happens happens over here." Yeah, this guy is pretty cool. Yeah, he pays his rent on time. Yeah, we like him. And you never know; this guy has a million dollars in his house and fentanyl and coke and guns and everything. (laughs) Yeah, that's. That's crazy, you know, but it, it happens. I was watching, it's funny when I watch some shows, I mean, you know, there's, I've been going through Netflix so much because I've just been in the house. Sometimes there's nothing to watch. So I'll just watch like some documentary on YouTube. And mm. there's a lot of the, a lot of documentaries talking about like the drug trade and the Montreal mafia and, you know, like, and they will talk about the, the uh, Asian gangs. Like they're talking about the two, like they have all these things. And it, the funniest part about it is just that it's, uh, it happens. Like, you know, you just, and then when things happen, like when you see like in Yorkdale, like this one guy comes in and shoots this one guy, one guy twice in the head and leaves. Mm. And then, you know, and they say at some fancy restaurant, you know, that's a hit. Yeah, that's like a straight hit. Because if that was a, if that was like some street stuff, I don't know, just I don't know. The guy would be holding his gun sideways and he wouldn't have aim. <laughs> and someone would get like sprayed by accident or something like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then you, but then you know what? You never hear about it again. 
Mm-hmm. Like you hear it maybe for a first couple of days and then you hear like the name might have like, you know, an Italian name or or uh, some, you know, some type of Russian name or something like that. And then you hear about it for a couple of days and then you have to search for the story yeah. afterwards. So maybe this will be the one or maybe it was just too much for them to ignore, like to be like 65. Guns, it's like, bro, bro, like, yeah, it's just way too much. We got to talk about this. Like, I'm sorry. Hey, uh, we're, we're talking. We find about someone it. to go under the bus. Yeah, we got to talk about this because where are we going to hide it? You can't say it's just like a little this and a little that. It's like, yeah, we need a truck. We need a U-Haul. There's cameras outside. Yeah. Some, but we got to be taking somebody in cuffs. So unless you get somebody else here, you're going to have to be the person that we're taking away or something like that. Sometimes it's just <laughs> craziness like that or something like that. But that's crazy. Yeah, it, but it happens. There's people that have that stuff in their house all the time. There's a little stash house. It's just crazy. They had so much in one house. That's the biggest daily, biggest one day seizure they said in Toronto history. So we'll, we'll keep Someone's up. getting in trouble. Someone's in trouble for that loss. I could tell you that. Someone's getting in trouble for that. They got it arrested. Well, we'll <laughs> we'll definitely keep everybody updated on what's going on. I guess, like as as it unfolds, because I'm sure there's not going to be the last the last story on this. Um, what else yeah. do we got here? Do you want to go through some of these comments here? You want to do the comments or what? Where is it? Where do you have them? Uh, well, I have I have them here. I can. I got a couple of them loaded up. Okay, so the last thing that we're gonna go through here, um, Shockler, is we um did this one time before. Um, we went through comments that we get on our YouTube channel. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Sometimes we get some crazy comments from the comment gang. And I, I you know, <laughs> this is the first time we're doing it with a guest. Usually we just do this when we're just chopping it up with the fam, just uh, with, with no guest. But, you know, I want you to be in on some of these comments that we get from, from our YouTube audience. And, and we're going to react to some of these comments. And, and you know what I'm saying? And you can give us some, okay, some, right. some input on what you think about some of this crazy shit that people say to us. Uh, all right, go for it. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we had the episode there. Uh, where we did the uncut episode. It was just me and you the other day. Mm-hmm. Um, I got to show uh, six views uncut, by the way. Um, so uh, Spoiled Bread said, Friday has a type. Sexy professional news ladies. Great choice with two laughing emojis. <laughs> okay. So just to give you some quick context, we were talking about who we'd like to see as our um, OnlyFans of, of a Toronto person. And I threw out Morella Fernandez from uh, from Global News. He, he's th- he's thrown out a, a few of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> she's a shock. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah she's good. There's also this, uh, this short little, uh, I don't know. There, I haven't she's seen Filipino. Her in a while, she's Filipino. Sure she's Filipino. There's the, yeah, the Filipino one. There's also, there was that little short Indian one with the short hair. I think she was in CBC News, too. Mm, Faranasa, you might be talking about. You know what I'm saying? No, she's like a small little petite girl, woman. <laughs> I'd be the one to, how I just throw names out there, but okay. yeah, I know. Just... <laughs> uh, 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 uh. give us another comment, Gutsy. That that one was just I. <laughs> um, all right. Well, there's another one that came two weeks ago, uh, from Biz in the Dot. He said that Friday is so thirsty for chromas. Oh my god, chromas, which is the chromas. <sighs> I got an, okay. I, I got hold on, hold on, because I got another one here. Better one. Give me a better one. Same thing, John jo- John Dangle. Friday's a simp for chromas. Trying to trying to what kind of clickbait title is this? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so basically we're having like there's a running joke, I guess, amongst our audience that people I think people think that chromas pays us or something like that. Yeah. Or we're like some kind of chromas groupies just because she's been interviewed with us. A few times, and she's blowing the fuck oh. up. We, we even hold that. Sorry, I even got another one. Laugh out loud. Um, by Tav five one ten. Laugh out loud. Gucci just lost credibility. Credibility. This episode. First chromas. Now act. Man, send me your plug. Wow. <laughs> he, 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 he got three. He got three likes on that too. That's not bad. Ah, uh, look at that. Okay, look. You got the. Yeah, you're gonna. You're gonna get tight. Typecast like uh, Ed O'Neill, you'd be like the Al Bundy. You know, forever, uh, no matter if you get on Modern Family or anything. Oh, <laughs> I was about to put my hand in my pants like Al Bundy does. <laughs> oh, um, see, that's not even Al Bundy anymore. Now that's called the Giuliani. Oh, that's my sound effects. Oh man. Um, I think I got one here. Um. 
let me see here. Somebody said they saw Debbie at Dundas Station in, in September. Word. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Debbie gang. Um, somebody's here saying, man, okay, here's one long. Okay, our parents. Okay, so this is under Debbie gang, and this is an interview that Gutsy just did on Six Views Uncut um, with uh, Debbie. You know who Debbie gang is? Uh, no. I'm going to put you on. Debbie gang. gang? Yeah, she, yeah. She, she, she's a, put you on. a Toronto socialite. Let's call her that. Um, okay. <laughs> are Toronto parents failing kids? Um, yes, with three S's. You have two kids on the show. Debbie is a white um, and acting so gangster for no reason. And there's an Indian kid smoking weed in front of her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I gotta go that's, look this up now. That's 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 our our cameraman on uh, Gucci. He's not Indian. He's black. Uh-huh. Um, both can barely speak English. So yeah, this is the real thing. These kids are losing their minds in 2020. Oh, <laughs> Who was that by? That's KM KM KMH Life. Shout out to KMH Life. KMH Life. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah. No. Now. Now. I, now. I gotta go Google this. Uh, go Google and see what that, that's all about. <laughs> yeah. You, you gotta go check out some of the stuff, man. It, it's funny you started last yeah. one I got here because it's funny you said that. Like we both have different podcasts, but it's on the same network, right? Mm. So somebody must have said on my show again, the Six Years Uncut podcast is called We Love Hip Hop, and the host doesn't watch the BET Awards. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so <laughs> a, a comment responded. <laughs> the network is called We Love Hip Hop, and there's a pod called We Love Hip Hop. This podcast clip you watch called Six Views Uncut hints different hosts, watermark, and other factors. Do you watch BET anymore either? And are you subscribed? <laughs> Somebody uh, came they, for they, their they head you got a on. <laughs> I think I know who that is who responded. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to me. Um, okay, let's get the fuck out of here, man. Yo, Shocks, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you for doing this with us, man. You know what I'm saying? No, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the love and... Uh, I appreciate that we could clear up the bar scene. Mm. I appreciate that you guys have me on and everything like that. And, and uh, you know, I, I really do. And uh, for everybody listening out there, you know, definitely want to make sure that you guys check out the new One Day Away video. When I was on tour, I came back home. I couldn't love you more. We used to just jo- yes. uh, It's out there right now on uh, YouTube. Check out the Backdraft video produced mm-hmm. by Classify that's there. Uh, Suave Dirt Dogs with me, Socrates, and Cardinal. Check out all my social media, IG, Shockler Official, Facebook, Shockler Official, Twitter, Shockler, YouTube, Shockler Official. And thank you all and everybody out there for uh, supporting for 20 plus years, man. It's really great. It's lovely. And uh, again, man, thank you very much for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. And we got to go ahead and do some more. I like these discussions and we just mm-hmm. go like this. It's good, man. I like these. Yeah, man. And this is the first time that we're able to like do Zoom slash in the studio thing. So thank you for, right. like, for, for yeah, doing this experiment even with us for like this audio production experiment. You know what I'm saying? Um, Word up, bro. Yo, one th- quick thing before we let you go. Can you give me a quick... Um, um, drop. Drop. You know, <laughs> Shockler, <laughs> you're tuned into We Love Hip Hop. Yeah, for sure. Whenever you're ready, Ayo, hey, what's up? Okay. Ayo, hey, what's up? What's up? It's Mr. Chisnock, Shockler, the Ill Floa. And right now we're tuned into We Love Hip Hop. Check it out all the way, all the time. T dot stand up. Um, Peace. Yo, thank you, King. We're going I'll check in with you soon. Okay, man. Yeah, give me a shout. Let me know when it's up, uh, when you guys are putting it up so I can help uh I'll help uh distribute. I love for people to see this interview. All right, for sure. Shout out, legend. All right, all right, peace, everybody. Right, peace. No. Yeah, man. So easy. Um, keep keep on, keep on. Um, okay, so gutsy guts. Let the people know where to find you. Gutsy guts on all social media platforms. You can also find me at Six Views Uncut. Make uncut, sure you uncut, um, uncut. watch my latest episode with Gucci Gang and Debbie Gang. Um, yeah, man, Toronto, be safe, be lovely, and yeah, another dope episode. Yes, 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 yes. Um, Big Gucci, let the people know where to find you. You can find me, Gucci416, my personal page, Clear, Clear Star Studio 6, my business page. 
You already know. Gucci gang. My bad, my bad Friday. <laughs> I got a vlog out. My YouTube channel, Gutsy Guts. I'm finally I'm finally putting out content. So yeah, go subscribe. My bad vlog, Rafe Nora, hey. Sean Smith. Check that out. Hey. Huh. Um, big shout out to PK Herc. Um, mm, you bunion. know, he'll be back next week. Um, so 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 you know, follow him on all social media platform or, or on Instagram, I mean PK Herks. Um, make sure to hit me up on my all my social media platforms, Friday Ricky Dread, that's D-R-E-D. Make sure to hit me up on my website, Friday aka Ricky Um, Instagram, we love hip hop network, and on Twitter, we love hip hop TO, as well as on um Six six views. Six, six views, views on T-O. Twitter oh. and Instagram. Six views TO. Mm. I'm gonna take us out with a track from Roddy Rebel mm. and Bobby Schmurda. Mm. Take us back a few years, you know what I'm saying, since we were having some conversations. Squat. 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 Let's go. Computers. Shut up my Free Bobby.